Barnett take on Halifax t on Tuesday evening. I'm joined by head coach Dean Brennan. Dean, how have the preparations been for this one? Yeah, obviously we had the weekend off. The players deserved it. We've just gone uh, won three games on the bounce in six days, so that was a carrot for them. Um, so they had the, they had the weekend off. Uh, not for the staff. We were all out of games Saturday, so which was good. Uh, good to watch with some other teams play as well, winning our division. Um, and today, which is Monday, um, preparing for tomorrow. We did a little bit of video analysis this morning, debrief, and then uh, we trained to uh, focus on Halifax, who had a great result of the weekend at Oldham. Uh, we take on Halifax tomorrow. They're not having the season that they probably would have wanted in the summer. What sort of challenges are you expecting from them tomorrow? A lot of change at Halifax in the summer, you know. Uh, manager moved on, obviously assistant manager then becomes manager. Some of the players have moved on and stepped up. Uh, some of them moved on to the, to the level above. So, very tough, tough place to go. The home record's excellent. Um, they're well organised defensively. Um, they like to play off uh, Manny Disarue quite a bit. So, and they've got good players. And I know they've got a few injuries at the minute as well, but they have got good players. And um, so, yeah, it's a very tough place to go within this division. But it's another challenge for us um, that we're looking forward to. Um, and we've set really high standards over the last three or four months and hopefully we can sustain and, and keep to them standards. Um, that's so important. Four wins on the bounce for us so far. Is it just more of the keeping it the same, do it again? No two, ga two games ever the same. These play a different system. Tomorrow they've been playing sort of three at the back, at times five at the back. Uh, they play with a box in midfield. Uh, get, get, they get good protection in midfield from, from Jordan Keane and, um, and they've changed who else has been in there a couple of times. So. <clears throat> like I say, no two games are the same. So the main thing for us is our focus, our mentality. Uh, if we want to sustain this winning mentality, we've got to make sure we keep going to the line every time, keep backing each other up, keep fighting, keep scrapping, and uh, earning the right to win football matches. And how's team news looking ahead of tomorrow? Yeah, Ryan trained today, which is a, a major boost, because I didn't think he'd be back for a couple of weeks. So Ryan's a major boost. Um, Shieldsy's moved on, great opportunity for Shieldsy. Um, it was something that he couldn't turn down. I had a discussion with him. I'd like to thank him for everything he's done at the football club. He had a really good start here, and I know he's a Barnet supporter as well. So, But look, sometimes in life, you've know, you just got to shake hands and go separate ways, business ways. So it made sense for, for both parties to do that. So, like I say, we wish him well. Um, and who else? Everyone else seems okay. I think Keen might have picked up a tiny little knock this morning in the training, but he should be okay. But everything else looks fine. Um, Dom Revan will be out for six to eight weeks. Uh, he's got a grade two hamstring tear. Um, JT is still on recovery. We're hoping to have him back quite soon. Jordan Thomas and Powell is still in recovery mode as well from his injury, so I'm not sure where we're at with him. Um, so all in all, it's, uh, it's healthy enough. Dean, thank you for your time.